What's up, Podgo people? Steve Serlaja here with a two-minute tip for the Podgo. This is the first two-minute tip I think that I've done for the Podgo. I've got a ton for the full Helix floor on my channel. If you're new here, uh, consider subscribing, checking out my Helix pre my Helix presets, my Helix tips, tricks. Most of them can be applied to the Podgo, and definitely the Podgo ones can be applied to the big Helix. But today I wanted to talk about a little workaround thing for one of my favorite parts of the Helix floor, and that's having parallel effects and not wasting a block on reverb if you don't need to. This is not an exact science. What is this? What is going on with that? Yikes. I need a haircut if you couldn't tell. Let's get haircuts, please, soon. So what I'm talking about here is early reflections and pre-delay. These are two things that you have that you have access to in your cabinet block and in your reverbs that can help you get like a faux sound. Both of them do different things, so I'm going to show you guys what each does. The early reflections are basically, it's the sound, if you're thinking about it, if you have a microphone, it's the sound bouncing off of the walls and then getting picked up by the microphone after the initial sound. So it's almost like a slap back reverb thing. It's just picture the sound echoing off a wall coming back right into the microphone and you use the percentage to dial in how much you want. If you'd crank that all the way up past like 70%, which you'll hear later, you get like a nice um, faux reverb sound, not exact reverb, but it works in a pinch if you want to save space and not use reverb. Now, if you do use reverb and you want to kind of get a little bit of a parallel effect type of thing where you're getting the transient note popping through first, nice and strong, and then having the trails or the reverberation sit under it like a bed, there's a nice little workaround to use the pre-delay, which I'm going to show you guys next also. Pull up a preset in Podgo Edit. Right now I'm using my Graham Cracker preset. This is a preset that's on the marketplace. I just put it up so it should be active by the time this goes live. All right, so on here I already have a spring reverb, but let's just mess with this pre-delay and see what it does when it's at zero. You could hear how the reverb is immediately there and is right on top of the note. And now if we max it out to 200 milliseconds, just for example sake, you can hear that that first note pops through and you almost get like a slapback type of sound because that reverb is delayed. It's a little confusing when you're thinking of delay terms, but if you keep it at like 80 milliseconds in the mid 80s, that's usually where I like to keep it, where I find the sweet spot. That usually keeps you in a good ballpark to have the transient note pop through and then have enough bed underneath it uh, to sound good. By the way, I'm using my 68 Tele. So that's with the 85 second delay. So the more you crank this up, the more your transient note will be on top. And this is a similar effect that you would get if you put it in a parallel effect in the Helix floor. Not exact. Don't jump down my throat, all you tech nerds that know what they're talking about, because you guys are so awesome in the comments sometimes. Kind of a workaround to get you that type of sound for your reverbs. If I crank up this decay, I know, let's crank up the mix. Now we can really hear it. Cool. So now let's go over to the early reflections. So here's the cabinet that I got on here. I have it at 53. Let me turn the reverb off. I'd suggest listening to this with headphones if you guys have. Um, I use Bayer Dynamic DT 770s. There's links to them below if you guys want to check out any of the other gear that I use. Um, so I usually keep it around 50 to 60, 70 percent in that ballpark just to give it a little bit more size and a little bit more room feel to the mic'd up cabinet. So let's turn this all the way up to 100 percent. This is the early reflections all the way up. You 
guess it's awkward when you can't see me playing. Should I do this? Anyway, so that's the early reflections all the way up. You can hear that nice, nice little slap back reverb sound and now take it all the way off. For dry sound, bring it up to 80. And 100%, just another time in here. Cool, and I usually keep that between 50 and 70%. That'll do it for this two minute tip for the pod go. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you consider subscribing. See you in the next video.